Dan Norman with Empire Boxing Recap, and this is Canelo versus Munguia. Early in the fight, Munguia came out very disciplined, working off the jab and setting up his punches, and he fought with a much tighter defense. I thought Munguia was winning the early rounds as he was more active, but sure enough, Canelo started to find his timing and openings and landed the big uppercut. Munguia was surprised by the punch and really hurt, but he got back up and kept fighting. This is where everything changed and Canelo started to take full control of the fight. You have to give credit to Munguia. He got back up and he kept fighting hard. He kept going after Canelo and wanted to get the win regardless of being dropped. There are definitely levels in boxing and Canelo showed Munguia that he's another level above. With that being said, Munguia looked much better defensively in this fight compared to his last fights. He had a lot more head movement, feints, kept his hands in position when he threw punches and that saved him from getting knocked out in this fight. Despite the great performance by Canelo, I can tell that he is aging, but his experience is compensating for that. He's using a lot less energy in fights. He's picking shots off with his arms. He's not utilizing head movement like he used to because it uses a lot of energy. Going into this fight, I had Canelo winning by knockout in the later rounds, and I think that he could have actually knocked him out, but perhaps he is aging and wanted to conserve that energy and just ride it out to the decision. Canelo ended up winning the fight by unanimous decision. Despite the loss, I think Munguia is going to benefit greatly from this experience. Let me know what your thoughts are on the fight in the comments section below.